Hello, and welcome to Untwisted Threads. This is Schabia's Terrazzo. Originating from the Netherlands, the 70% recycled muslin free wool, 30% recycled viscose yarn features 60 colors. The colorway we chose is 732 Achiao. This 50 gram skein with 175 meters works up as a DK weight yarn. The suggested gauge for this yarn is 4 millimeter needles, getting you 27 stitches and 35 rows per 4 inches or 10 centimeters. In today's video, we're going to review and score Terrazzo by Schabies using our five categories, which are availability, softness, traction, durability, and cost, to help you decide if this is the best yarn for you in your next project. Let's get started. For availability, we give Terrazzo a score of 4 out of 5. The brand Schabies originates from the Netherlands, so as you might expect, this yarn is not as widely available in the United States. But there are a few shops here in the States that you can order Terrazzo from. It is also available at a few larger craft websites such as Lovecrafts, Webs, and Wool Warehouse. I do want to note that although it is a little high for my budget, Scabias does offer a color sample pack for you to view all of the beautiful colors available in this yarn collection. For softness, we give it a score of 4 out of 5. Honestly, it took me a little while to come up with the words to describe this yarn. In the skein, it feels dense, almost like a sponge. I wouldn't say it feels like wool, it's more on the synthetic side. It is soft though, but not quite like a buttery soft. Terrazzo includes 70% recycled muslin free wool and 30% recycled viscose. I love the idea of using recycled wool rather than sourcing new wool. I am just not quite sure what I'm feeling, especially since it's not clear what type of wool is blended into this fiber. I'm also no expert on recycled wool, maybe I'm feeling some spinning oil. Regardless what type of wool it is, it will keep you warm and insulated. In addition to the wool, the 30% recycled viscose is more than likely the pretty little tweed flex you're seeing throughout the yarn. I think I'm getting a little sidetracked here, so yes, this yarn is soft and it does not have a rustic hand in my opinion. For traction, we give it a score of 3.5 out of 5. My thoughts aside, this yarn knits pretty well. Almost similar to how acrylic is squeaky or how cotton has some grip, I did notice that about this yarn as I was working with it. Especially if you're wanting to work with this yarn in a warmer environment and your hands are warm, it will probably slow you down. It wasn't rustic that it was sticking to my skin, but I did notice a bit of drag as I was knitting. This may be a good option if you're a beginner knitter and don't want a yarn that is too slippery. Even then, I recommend using a metal or nickel plated needle rather than wood as you may experience too much traction or grip. For durability, we give it a score of 3.5 out of 5. Typically, the higher twist that a yarn has, the more strength it will have. This yarn is spun as a looser two-ply and shown that it is a little delicate and came apart when I was pulling on the fibers, so that's something to keep in mind. Again, it's a little difficult for me to determine durability without knowing what type of wools are recycled and mixed together to create this yarn. However, wool on its own is pretty durable, but some are more hardy than others. So I recommend treating it as though it's a more delicate merino yarn, just to be on the cautious side. For the tweed flex, I experienced most of them to be secure pretty well, however I still found that I was able to pick pieces off pretty easily if I tried. To add some strength, this may be a great time for you to add a strand of mohair in addition to this yarn, as well as to add a little bit of shine and a soft and fuzzy halo. As this yarn is not superwash treated, I do recommend taking care when washing to ensure longevity and to prevent felting. So it may not be a sock yarn, but it could be great for an oversized garment or even a home decor item. 
For cost, we give it a score of 3 out of 5. For being a 50 gram skein, you can expect to pay $10 US per skein. For a size medium sweater quantity, you're looking at approximately $80 US. Because this yarn comes in 50 gram skeins, I think it gives you the ease of being able to use multiple different colors in its large color range for any project. I imagine the process of mixing different recycled wool fibers together is a costly process and that may be reflected in the cost of this yarn. But for a tweed yarn overall, I think it's a pretty average priced yarn. Overall, we give Terrazzo a score of 3.6 out of 5. This yarn blew me away with a number of color options for being a tweed yarn. It was soft and I really appreciated that the tweed flex weren't falling off as I was knitting with it. Its recycled fibers are something I haven't seen much of and I really appreciated that it's more eco-friendly. I think that as an option, this yarn could do well paired with the mohair as an oversized sweater with a hint of the little tweed flex all over. So we had a little look on Ravelry and wanted to share a few pattern recommendations hopefully to inspire you if you're wanting to make something with Terrazzo. The first pattern is actually a free pattern that was part of a knit along this year called the Rowan Midwinter Knit Along by Martin Story. The design uses another DK tweed yarn, but I think the color selection of Terrazzo will look beautiful and give you so many choices to make this blanket. The blanket is knitted color work in individual squares, similar to granny squares in crochet, then they're all attached together to create a blanket. You could choose to do only a main color and add an accent color, or one main color with multiple accent colors or a different main and accent colors. Do you see what I mean about the infinite amount of color choices? The next pattern is designed by Alonga Vek Anna called the Hator Mittens and comes in four sizes. Using a DK weight yarn, I think these Scandinavian inspired colorwork mittens would be a great choice to make with Terrazzo and would make a special gift knit too. They're knitted starting at the cuff and are seamless. I think that the little tweed flex would add a cozy touch to this colorwork design and being a DK weight yarn, these mittens would probably be a quick knit using less yarn than a pair of socks, which I think is a huge bonus. I imagine you can even use the chart to make a matching hat or a scarf too for an entire set. I must really be in the holiday spirit because this last pattern is a crochet pattern that I think would also be perfect for the holidays and it's called The Christmas in July Crochet Stocking by Brianna K Designs. There's also a knitted version but that pattern uses an errand weight. Another colorwork pattern, this design uses a tweed yarn so you can kind of get an idea of what your stocking could look like too. You could use the classic red, green, and white holiday colors, or I don't think you could go wrong by utilizing any of the 60 colorway options that Terrazzo has to offer. Maybe you could choose colors to match the Rowan Midwinter Knit Along Blanket. Can you imagine beautiful tweed, crochet, or knitted stockings all lined up on the mantle of a fireplace while cozied up in your colorwork blanket watching a Christmas movie? Because I sure can. Have you used Schabier's Terrazzo yarn before? What yarn would you like for us to do a review on next? We would love to hear your thoughts and recommendations in the comments below. If you enjoyed our review, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.